Hi there, this is Dawn from Wildlife and I wanted to bring to you a recent story of why these gloves are so dirty, this water is so gross, and why this bird needed our desperate medical attention. So on Monday we admitted this American robin that become stuck in the thick black grease of a truck's fifth wheel. The owners of the business spotted the bird when the truck had been brought in for some routine maintenance. Um, they had actually ID'd the bird as a robin and they were correct, um, but we couldn't actually tell if it was a male or a female. It was coated in so much uh, thick black grease. Everyone's first thought when they see a greasy, oily bird is those adorable ducky dawn bath commercials because, hey, after all, the adorable ducky is right on the label. Um, in fact, Dawn soap does cut through most grease and oil, but it's not as easy as just lathering the bird up with soap and giving it a rinse. There's a method to doing a Dawn bath and it takes quite a bit of preparation. Several bins are filled with water that's exactly 105 degrees. Just like with your dishes at home, cold soap and water won't cut through fats and oils. Uh, so the temperature is extremely important. After doing some testing with some of the bird's soiled feathers, we can narrow down what percent soap solution we need to remove uh, whatever particular grease product this is. We anticipated we would need at least two washes and one rinse bin. Um, in the end, we actually needed three wash bins. Uh, there was so much product on the feathers. So we have our robin here, and I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see. We have these very special concentrations of Dawn solution to water because it's not just any old soap solution you have to actually uh, come up with the correct percentage that's going to remove the contaminants from the bird oh my gosh look how dirty that is getting so our little robin is slightly sedated because this is a very stressful procedure and we've given him some supportive care some fluids um, some dextrose we also put some lubricant in his eyes to make sure we protect his eyes so our hands on the right here are actually holding his head up so he doesn't ingest any of the soapy water while we bathe him. And there's actually a, a, a very um, strict method to bathing these guys so that you make sure you get all of their feathers clean. Um, it sounds like it's kind of fun, but it's actually very stressful for the bird. And if you don't do it right, he doesn't really come clean. And you'll have to repeat this process. As you can see from the um, photo progression here, it took a total of three washes for the wash solutions to finally rinse clean. After the bath, the robin sat in a warm incubator that was also hooked up to oxygen. The reason for the oxygen is that the birds that undergo this type of procedure are usually pretty stressed after it's over. Oxygen, along with the dextrose and fluids, are all part of supportive care to help uh, then recover more quickly from the ordeal. We don't actually know at this point how successful the bath was until the feathers are dry. Here's our little trooper when he was dry and it turns out he is actually a she. Um, she's completely transformed. These types of contaminations happen more frequently than most people think. Uh, we do get animals in that are contaminated with um, cooking grease, motor oil, sometimes automotive fuel, or substances that we can't even identify. Um, provided that the affected animal hasn't ingested too much of the substance, uh, the contaminant, they usually do okay as long as we can get it off fairly quickly. Um, this bird is on the fast track to recovery and we anticipate her um, release within the week. So we're, we're very happy that we were able to get to her quickly. Um, it looks like the contaminant came off really well and she should do just fine.